From enormous sea spiders to mysterious translucent blobs, here are 11 amazing and weird creatures found in Antarctica. Number 11. Sea Pig Crowned as perhaps the ugliest creature of the deep sea, sea pigs are one of the most common and abundant animals caught off the coast of Antarctica. I don't know, don't you think it's the ugliest? Let me know in the comments below. They also go by the names of sea cucumber and holothuroid. Just like earthworms on land, sea pigs are important in processing the sediment, but fisheries continue to threaten their existence. They're good indicators of environmental change in shallow as well as deep water. You can find them in groups of 300 and even up to 600 all over the ocean floor. They're four to six inches long and can easily fit in the palm of your hand, although we're not sure why you would want them in there in the first place. They can be found in the deepest parts of the ocean and sometimes live up to four miles under the surface. Their weird looking legs are used to push food in their mouths and they feed off the organic particles which they extract from deep sea mud. Sea pigs grow in many weird ways and they live alongside starfish, coral, clams, sponges and sea urchins. They also host several parasites that are even weirder than they are, including small snails and crustaceans that bore holes in their host bodies, continuing to feed on them internally. Here's the good news, they're completely harmless to humans, although having them as a pet would mean investing in a very deep fish tank. Number 10. Feather Star These creepy looking creatures also live in the deep Antarctic Sea. They're a part of a much bigger family with species all around the world, but this member of the Promachocrinus family is particularly fond of the coldness of the Antarctic Sea. It's the only feather star with 10 rays at the base of the arms and it makes it look way denser and feathery than other family members. They're very mobile creatures that primarily eat phytoplankton. They're also susceptible to the impacts of climate change as they're sensitive to temperature changes. Number 9. Swimming Snail A bean-sized swimming snail, Lemosina halicina, has crossed the tropics to live in both Arctic and Antarctic seas. The creature spins a mucus net off its paddle-like foot wings to trap algae and other small particles on which it feeds. Their shell is very thin and allows for easy movements. This small and certainly odd-looking creature is considered an indicator species of the health of the entire ecosystem. Many fish, including whales, heavily depend on this swimming snail as their primary source of food. The creatures also affect the carbon cycle and may have an impact on the Earth's climate. Many are wondering how these creatures manage to get to both ends of the Earth without any stops in between, the distance almost 7,000 miles. A decade-long international project to map the world's oceans called the Census of Marine Life was determined to discover more about these creatures and how they ended up living on both ends of the world. Other types of snails about the size of a pea, known as petropods, are also found in the Southern Ocean near Antarctica. They are actually venomous, which helps them to protect themselves from predators. But another organism called an amphipod, which looks like a tiny shrimp, is taking advantage of them and actually kidnapping the snails and wearing them like backpacks, holding them in place with two legs so the snails can't escape. Live Science reported that researchers have described backpacking amphipods in coastal waters near Antarctica, but now we have proof. Number 8. The Hoff Crab If the name of this crab sounds familiar, we can confirm it. Although its official name is Kiwa Tyleri, the Hoff Crab has been nicknamed by the bare-chested actor David Hasselhoff, known for his role in Baywatch. Before it had an official scientific name, people online called it The Hoff, and he himself tweeted his support. Its official name honours the renowned British polar and deep ocean biologist Paul Tyler from Southampton University. The hoff crab is actually a species of deep sea squat lobster and a member of the yeti crab family. It farms bacteria on its furry chest as its main source of food. Only first discovered in 2005, the creature is known to live in the hottest part of the cold environment, and it swarms around steam vents 1.5 miles deep. Images from the National Environment Research Council demonstrate hundreds, if not thousands, of these crabs all over the hot vents in very close communities. 
These are volcanic rock systems that draw water through cracks in the sea floor, superheat it, load it with dissolved metals and other chemicals, and then inject it back into the ocean, creating entire ecosystems. To allow it to crawl through these hot vents, the crab has spines on its legs. The hoff crabs are very fascinating for deep ocean biologists. Very rarely do they find creatures like crabs and lobsters in frigid environments. And now for number 7. But first, be sure to subscribe to Epic Wildlife and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 7. The Antarctic Springtail Sure, you can find springtails all over the planet, but the Antarctic springtails have functions which can survive the brutally cold conditions of the Antarctic Sea. To save energy, the springtails slow down their metabolism, and during winter they produce glycerol, which lowers their freezing point, and although it's only 0.04 inches long, and weighs only a few micrograms, the springtails are actually visible to the naked eye. That is, if you do ever end up at the bottom of the Antarctic Sea. An Antarctic springtail looks like an insect and reminds me of an earwig. They have six legs, but more primitive, and resemble the ancient ancestors of modern day insects. Their diet mainly comprises of fungus and bacteria, but it's said that not even springtails can survive the cold if they don't happen to produce enough glycerol to lower their freezing point. They will freeze. But here's the trick. According to a deep sea biologist, these animals can defrost and live without any problems. Number 6. Sea Spiders Sea spiders can also be found in waters all across the globe. But it's the Antarctic sea spiders that are truly special. And weird. They have no lungs, no gills, no organs for breathing at all. Most of the time, a sea spider is the size of your fingernail. In Antarctica, they can be the size of a dinner plate or more. Some have been found with leg spans of over two feet. They are far more common in Antarctica than anywhere else in the world. How did they get so big? New York Times reports that Antarctic sea spiders got so big because some 30 million years ago, the Southern Ocean got cooler. This trait, known as polar gigantism, is thought to be essential to why they and many other cold dwelling invertebrates of unusual size manage to survive. Many creatures that manage to survive these icy waters get really big. Number 5. The Antarctic Icefish The Antarctic Icefish have one of the most fascinating and unique characteristics. Due to their lack of haemoglobin, their blood is nearly translucent. And despite the lack of red blood cells, these fish can still survive and reproduce. There are 16 ice fish species living in the Antarctic Sea, and it's the cold, oxygen-rich environment that helps them survive and maintain the expression of oxygen-binding proteins. These fish are a natural model for studying anemia, as their BTW gene relates to the human TRIM gene family. Icefish were also used as a model for investigating the reduction in bone mineral density that affects 46 million Americans. It's precisely these studies that have shown the expressions of key genes involved in the delay of bone development which results in a cartilage-rich skeleton. Number 4. Glass Sponges A delicate name for a delicate organism. Creatures called glass sponges live on the seafloor of Antarctica. Recently, marine biologists discovered new facts about these creatures. While it was previously thought that they could go a decade without any measurable growth, they changed their minds when they discovered a boomtown of sponges that doubled in biomass and tripled in number over the course of two growing seasons. The sponges are organisms with skeletons made of silica, which is a mineral component of glass, hence their name. It was extremely surprising when the biologists discovered the sponges can, in fact, grow in such a cold environment. They were known to be the slowest of their already slow-growing family, and scientists are very eager to solve this mystery. It's also believed that these seafloor animals have the potential to store carbon, which could be another excellent tool to address climate change. When plant plankton, known as phytoplankton, produce food, they take carbon out of the sea water. And when glass sponges feed on that plankton, the carbon contained in their prey becomes locked away on the sea floor. 
and when the sponges die, they're buried in the sediment, sequestering their carbon. Number 3. Amphipoda These bizarre little shrimp-looking creatures have no carapace and have literally compressed bodies. They can be found all over, but the largest living amphipods live deep down in the sea. Some were photographed at a depth of 5,300 metres, measuring about 28 centimetres long. Amphipods are a family with over 7,000 species, and Antarctica is full of species known as sand fleas, also known as sandhoppers. Like I mentioned before, these are the same kidnappers that will grab the toxic snails and wear them like a backpack. Number 2. Now this is one bizarre creature, with a bizarre name and even weirder look. They have a yellow stomach that can reach out to feed all parts of their broad and oval body. They have a pointed tail with no obvious caudal fin and can measure up to 1.7 inches in length. This transparent creature feeds on zooplankton and can swim in depths of almost 5,000 feet and a pretty widespread species. Apart from Antarctica, you can also find them in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans and in waters south of Australia. Number 1. Comb Jelly The comb jelly is known to float around areas which have high levels of carbon dioxide. They have no intestines, no lungs and no stomach. Their bodies are designed to pass oxygen and nutrients directly through the gastrodermis. What makes them truly unique is their rainbow effect when the light emanates from their rows of cilia that run up and down their bodies. They don't seem to have a well-defined brain nerve, instead it's their nerve net that helps them adjust to the water change around them. It's almost hard to believe that such a fragile looking creature can actually survive the cold temperatures of the Antarctic Ocean, but these 500 million years old creatures are actually accustomed to almost all types of environment smart things. The Antarctic Sea is full of surprises and there are hundreds more species surviving in the cold climate and there are likely many more that will be discovered. Could these creatures help us learn more about climate change? Will we find even weirder animal species living at the bottom of the ocean? We will just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. Which one of these creatures was your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and catch you at the next video.